to Unraveled Game Thoughts. Uh, today I have a four-handed playthrough of Comic Hunters. This is by Robert Coelho, and I am not Spin Master Games is the publisher. Reportedly, this is relatively challenging to find. I happen to find a copy on a Barnes and Noble site, and it's a it's a pretty. I mean, it's like thirty. I want to say like thirty bucks. So not terribly expensive. I think I even had some kind of a discount, so I might have got it for less than that, like closer to twenty. And oh, it says uh, twenty four ninety nine. So there you go. Um, it's pretty low quality from the standpoint of if you're used to getting games that just have a high quality feel, real nice punch boards, real nice everything. The cards are a little bit more on the papery side, so I have sleeved them all already. And the board, the board's okay. It's not bad. Pretty small. The tokens are real like kind of almost old school uh, they're 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 actually more durable in hand they don't feel like like a single piece of cardboard but they are uh, they they just they don't have the high quality feel you're gonna have with some other games so that's just something to be aware of however the reason I decided to grab this game is because I think it is what more closely what I was looking for from uh, a game I had, uh, Age of Comics, which I have done a playthrough prior on the channel. You could probably find it. I did a couple of solo plays, and I was kind of hoping uh, that one would be something like this is. Now, I, I had won a copy of Age of Comics, so I didn't actually back it because I suspected it wouldn't be what I thought it would be. This one is much more akin to what I uh, am looking for and it's it, it's a uh, it ha they must have gotten the licensing because it's got the Mar it's got actual Marvel characters for the comics that you'll see coming out so uh, you're gonna have to bear with me I'm doing a four-handed playthrough because I really wanted the kind of full effect and at least to demonstrate what are the different pieces of the game that you uh, how, how the different sort of collecting pieces are going to work together. Now, we have, what you see in front of you is the board, and we have this little check box. It's bigger than the actual boxes here, but you slide it down to whichever section of the game you're on. So we play three rounds, and there are four different options for obtaining comics. I say options. Everybody's doing the same option in any given round. You're going to the store, you're going to a flea market, you're going to an auction site, or you're going to a convention to get your comics. And each one works a little differently. There's sort of a, a, a little clue here as to how they operate to one degree or another. Um, I'm going to have to reference the rules because I've read through it once, but I'm not super uh, like I, I don't have it adapted in my head and that's part of the reason I'm doing the playthrough for myself is, is also to kind of get a better feel for how this goes so I can teach it um, we have ages uh, so in this one we have age one comics these are going to be comics from 2000 and beyond so we have uh, Thor, Doctor Strange, Hulk, we're playing with all the heroes for four players uh, Black Panther, Captain America, Iron Man. We've got all those uh, folks in here. Black Widow. Um, those are our uh, our heroes that are going to be on the comics uh, that we're looking at. And Age One is uh, that era. And then we have Age Two, which are I want to say I'm trying to think up to 2000 like. Maybe, let's see what the oldest one, because they have the years on the bottom here, like 1980 to 2000, something like that. It looks like I see all in 80, 80 is 86, 85, 
uh, it looks like around 1980, 1981, something like that, all the way up to uh, 2000. So we have a deck here, and then we have the kind of the, I forget what they call them, like these are classics. So these are prior to 1960, uh, these like 50s, 60s, actually I, it looks like 60s and 70s to be honest, 60s, 70s, like uh, these, are, these are classic uh, comics of these characters that you see in this game. Um, harder to find, collectibles kind of deal. And then we have sort of, uh, once we've shuffled those decks, we draw 10 for a four player game, you're gonna draw 10 off the top of each and you're gonna create a, like what's called the uh, convention deck. And when we get to that section of the game, we'll uh, demonstrate how you do the convention. Um, we're gonna be making collections. So you're gonna do these different uh, ways of gathering comics in each round. Then we're gonna form a collection, which I will reference the rules to make sure I'm doing that right. You get points for the number of variable collections you have. You have hero trackers. So I think it's points for maybe collections based on hero uh, in your, oh, this is, okay, so this is collection size. For every collection in your gaming area with three comic book cards or more for a certain hero, hero write down the points according to the number of cards in the collection. So basically Iron Man is worth more points <clears throat> than the others. Uh, Captain America, Spider-Man, and Hulk are worth the next amount of points, and then Thor, Black Widow, Black Panther, and Cat and Doctor Strange are worth the least amount of points for their collections. So you want to get as much as you can of any given hero, but Iron Man's the most valuable for sure. Um, so that's the collection size. We got varied collections, so the number of collections you have at the end of the game. Uh, of different heroes, you have to have at least two. Oh, only collections with three or more cards count. I saw a little two up there, two card looking thing, so I thought maybe it was two, but it's three. Um, and then we have highlights. So for each highlight track, follow the guidelines below, depending on the number of players. So it's highlights are like, um, in this case, we have number one, we have first, and we have, uh, I think, new costume. I think those are the different highlights that we have in this particular game. There's five of them. There's versus is also part of the game and then there's like uh, the gemstone whatever whatever that means. I can't remember. Um, it's over here on the setup page. So we have first number one token so like the number one of a comic. Uh, we have the uh, first appearance token, first time that character appeared, and then we have uh, the new look token was the third one. I randomly drew the, the next one. So it's the new look. Then we have special edi edition is the gemstone, and the epic battle is the verses. So those will give you points, I guess, depending on how far up that track you are, you will get some number of points. The positions of the three players on the highlight track are on the first track, black one, Green came second and orange came third. Oh. Okay. Four players. 15 for first, 12 for second. So you're trying to get ahead on these tracks to get the most points. Got it. So that's a little bit more of a, <clears throat> can I get the most of these? And then we have, I know one of them is an auction, and you're going to be bidding. You have like what's called your secret stash, and then basically you can bid here and you have two auctions in the game and then sometimes you might want to use some to buy comics um, and when we get to that I'll do that we'll, we'll, we'll walk through that as we get there so that is coming so let me start with round one we are going to the store and so I'm doing again four-handed so in the store uh, each player draws four cards from the deck, from deck one. And if you have any cards in your hand from previous rounds, you would set them face down beside you now, so they're not included. So we're gonna do 
each each player gets four cards. So done. All right. So each player is going to choose a card and add it to their hand to keep place to select a card face down in front of you and then that player passes the remaining cards to the player sitting to their left so basically they would go this way so we'll start with this we're calling the leftmost player for right now player one player one looks at their hand so we've got some man we've got some Captain America we've got verses we've got uh, it's first age so we're gonna pick one of these and we have a couple of number ones um, so that can help us here but this is let's see Black Widow so Captain America and Iron Man are both worth a decent amount and that gives us a versus so I, I like I like Captain America and Iron Man and Civil War so we're gonna set that in front of us make sure I got that down there and then these are gonna pass to the left to this guy alright so we'll do player yeah we're passing left so this one's passing to him okay so we'll go here and this will pass to him so player two Thor Black Widow and Spider-Man. Spider-Man's the most valuable. Thor, uh, well, he would give us a special edition, but that's not help us. We have uh, three Black Widow number uh, versus a number one and a um, new appearance of Spider-Man. So because Spider-Man's the most valuable, we'll just pick him and uh, pass and left. So that's going to go there. And then player three has an Iron Man with a new look. Uh, we've got Black Panther, who's kind of low in the totem pole. Oh, we have a Captain America that's got a number one and a new look. So two for one there, and there's Iron Man with a new look. We definitely would like to get Iron Man, <clears throat> but... I might see this one come back to me again possibly hard to say because no one's gonna go for Captain America so uh, but Iron Man is worth the most points tough choice uh, we're gonna go with Captain America because it's got two options uh, and then we'll pass those cards there all right player four is going to uh, yeah try to keep these situated here so player four has, and normally you play in this game, you'd be doing all this simultaneously. So I'm doing four hand. This is way longer than what an actual game would probably take, except, uh, you know, if you got somebody with AP. So Hulk and Spider-Man are going to be the most valuable to some degree because they have, uh, though they, they are higher valued here. Uh, now Hulk has a number one and a first. He gives me both. So I think I'm going to go with Hulk and then pass cards here all right so we'll go back to player one remember player one has captain america and iron man so that would be the best choice but uh we didn't get any of those um we do have a black widow with a versus which can really help us get up the versus track um so we'll just take black widow and put that in our hand and then, <clears throat> let's see, uh, player four is going to, um, let's see, they've got Hulk. They did not get any Hulk here, but they do have a number one. Uh, so we might want to get one of these number ones, and Captain America is a little bit higher uh, on the totem pole, but we have a Versus as well, but Versus isn't giving us as much as we want so let's go with Captain America at a slightly higher value and then player three uh, let's see they took a Captain America we don't have another Captain America here <clears throat> but Black Panther has a number one and a versus so we'll we'll do that <clears throat> hand to player two player two has a spider-man 
Mm. So we could do a Captain America with a special. That with a versus. Iron Man with a um, with a new appearance. That's probably going to be a little more valuable to us. And then we'll hand that off to player one. So player one now has probably an easy choice. I mean, Captain America. Now we could we could get Black Panther because we have another versus, but we have uh, we've got a Captain America. Let's just go with Captain America on that one. Pass to player four. Um, player four. Let's see. We've got Captain America. We've got a bunch of number ones. Let's get Black Widow and stick with our number ones. And pass to player three. So this one is going to just stick. And we might as well do it that way. Um, <clears throat> player three. Uh, let's see what they have. They have a... Let's see, we got Black Panther. We could get another Black Panther. That's two number ones. We could get a Black Widow. Uh, it gives us a versus but, and an and a Iron Man, but I'm, we're gonna stick with the Black Panther and then pass to number for that one. So then we're gonna get that one. <clears throat> and then uh, he is going to choose uh, let's see, we got Spider-Man and Iron Man, uh, Spider-Man, but Thor gives us a number one and a special edition, which we don't really care about. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with, Spider-Man's interesting, but let's go with Thor. Let's go with Thor and see what happens. So that's going to get passed. This is going to flip there. And, okay, so we have... All, all these characters have these cards. Step two, um, all players choose one card, blah, blah, blah. Step two, so now we have uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's the end of that. No more cards. Add your last card to the ones in front of you and then add all the face down cards in front of you to your hand that you had set aside from the beginning. Great, okay. So that is going to the store. That's just a, it's like a little draft <clears throat> to see what you can get. Next, we're gonna go to the flea market. So the flea market is where you're gonna find Cobbit books published in the 80s and 90s, the modern age. Um, the green are the contemporary age, modern age, classic age, okay. So players will take turns clockwise starting with the first player set up the flea market we're gonna make a column from the draw pile equal to the number of players so I'm gonna I hope this is on camera over here but we have four players so we're gonna make a column like so okay and then each player has an option they can either take a row of their choice and or and I'm gonna open up hands here so I don't have to flip them over every time and basically help make decisions uh, and the first player marker would stay with this first player at this round so we're gonna stick with that and players have a choice you either um, you either pick a row so player one could pick one of these rows and just take take it all like I'm going for Captain America I could just take that Captain America because uh, that would help with that collection uh, but I also got Spider-Man so I could take Spider-Man and Hulk and uh, I'm not looking for verses so that's not a big deal so the other thing I could do is draw a card from the deck and place it face up in one of the rows now I'd like that Captain America but I kinda like to get more um, I like the Spider-Man. So I've got basically two rows here that I kind of like both of them. So I think I'm going to draw in place. Ooh, an Iron Man. Now Iron Man I know is number one. I'm, I'd like Iron Man, but I'm not really going for Iron Man. And this is an Iron Man with one of those. So I'm going to put Iron Man up here next to Doctor Strange because I don't remember seeing any Doctor Strange in our draft. And uh, maybe that makes that Iron Man a little less 
exciting because he's next to a character somebody doesn't have. Okay, so player two is now going to go. And player two has an Iron Man. Could get an Iron Man and a Doctor Strange. Um, also going for Spider-Man. Oh, man, that's tough. So player two is going to draw. Oh, another Iron Man and with a new appearance. Wow. Well, we don't want to put it with that Iron Man for sure. We're going to go and put this Iron Man with that. So now we got two Iron Mans out there. And once you pick up a row, you're pretty much out of the round. Uh, so that's the other factor. Player three. It's got Thor, Captain America, <clears throat> Black Panther. Uh, player three... Ooh, got an Iron Man. We could get, we could get uh, a couple of, a couple of things we can get. But uh, player three is going to go ahead and draw. Gets a Black Panther. Now, player three's got a couple of Black Panthers. Likes Black Panther. Uh, but Captain America would be a good one to also get. This Black Panther also has a number one. But if we put it here, and now we have two number ones in the same area, that might really push somebody to try to. Try to get up that highlights route. Um, ooh, uh, putting them up there with Iron Man is always chancy because somebody's probably collecting Iron Man. Um, let's go. Uh, let, let's take a chance and we'll put Black Panther with Captain America. Uh, we'll see if anybody goes for that. All right. So player four is collecting. Uh, Captain America and Black Panther. Not bad. Player 4 is going to take these and add them to their collection, which Player 3 is disappointed about, but now Player 4 is out. Alright, Player 2. And I don't think once we have a row add in your hands, you turn your turn at the flea market. Once all players pick up a row of cards, Okay, uh, column, reveal a card from the deck and place it in the first position of each row. Okay, place it in the first from left to right in one of the available rows. Uh, no more rows. Number three. So since we've taken that row, it's done. We're not, we have three rows left. We can't add to that row that was taken. All right, so player one is going to decide, man, that was that Captain America was a good one. Spider-Man is is juicy, but player one's kind of thinking, eh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and beef up this thing. Um, so we've got a Black Widow. Player one would like Black Widow. Player one would like Spider-Man. He's not really going after Iron Man, so he's gonna go there. Player two likes Iron Man, but man. It'd be nice to get something a little juicier. Now this has Spider-Man and Black Widow. So both good. But Player 2 is going to keep pushing his luck and put something else out. Alright, a Black Panther. Player 2 doesn't care about Black Panther. So the question is, what would Player 2... Right now, these are the most valuable for Player 2. So Player 2 is going to throw Black Panther, which has an icon that probably nobody cares about up here into that row and see what player three does. Um, player three, ooh, player three likes Black Panther, doesn't need Iron Man really, isn't really going after that. Some Thor would be good, some Captain America good, but there's room for more. It's going to flip one over. All right, he likes Captain America. He's going to make that one real juicy up top. Back to player one. Player one could play a card, or player one could take that top deck of cards. That is real, it's pretty good. Um, this one could get better, but player one is going to go ahead and grab all of those. So player one's out. Player two. Player two is is struggling here. Um, the first player chooses another. Okay. All right. 
Okay. So if you get to the end of the round, then you can just keep playing, then I guess you're good. Uh, so player two, ooh, Hulk, Iron Man, Thor. It's not one that helps, but he's got Thor and that Iron Man. Well, if player two can nab that row, then player two will take it. All right, player three, looking for Black Panther, Captain America, and Thor. Nothing came up. Uh, player player three is really just looking for as many as possible as they can get. So they drew a Thor. They're going to put it up here and see if they can possibly get that row. And then we're going to go back to, back to player two. So player two is trying to decide. Not sure what player three wants. We can get a Spider-Man. We could get that. We could get a Thor. Player two is going to grab all of those from the flea market. Um, and then player uh, three is going to go ahead and put one more card out and then take all those cards. Because if you're the last player still in the round, you didn't get the best pick, but you get to do that. All right, so now once all the players have picked up the row of cards, that round is completed. <clears throat> the first player chooses another player to be the first player of the next round. Well, there's not really a good reason to choose differently, so we're just going to go to the next one over. Okay, so they so now player two now has the first player token. All right, so now we're going to go to convention. Let's see how convention works. So to set up this location, put that by player two. We're going to take these. Uh, takes 24 cards from the top of the convention and arranges them to a grid of five columns and five rows, leaving the center position empty. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do all of this, leaving the centermost position empty. like so. And I think we're going to run out of a little room here. Let's uh let's do this. Let's move those over. And we'll shift this all up like so. Ba -da -ba -dum. All right. So there's our comic books. And now beginning with the new first player. Um, let's see. And then going clockwise, each player will have a turn to choose cards. And then starting with the last player and continuing counterclockwise, each player will have an additional turn to choose. Okay? So it's a snake draft. Before you choose your first card, you can slide one card left, right, up, and down in the grid pretty much anywhere. So I could slide like this or like this with not much else there. Um, moving it through empty spaces to a new position. That's optional. Um, as long as the empty spaces, but you cannot. And then you say the name of a hero and choose a column or row from the grid. Column or row. And pick up all the comic books in that column or row <clears throat> that have an icon of the hero announced and then add them to your hand. So let's see, player two has, uh, man, we've got got quite a few Iron Man comics. We've got some, got a little Hulk there. Iron Man and it looks like maybe Black Widow are our top ones. Actually, we're tied with a bunch. So Iron Man would be the ideal um, the question is, there's, there's two Iron Mans in that row. There's one in that row. There's not one worth moving. Uh, there's two in that row. Both of those have ones that are helpful to us. So I think I don't even know that it's worth 
moving a comic. Um, the only the only alternate would be we could get a whole bunch of another comic maybe. Um, so we have two hulks here and we could get three hulks. That's not bad. Goes a total of five hulks. Uh, let's see who else could we potentially get. Um, we've got one Black Widow. Two, there's one, one. So Black Widow is not really a good one, up or down. It looks like. <clears throat> Captain America, we could get two there. Um, uh, Doctor Strange isn't going to help there. Hulk is maybe the most significant one that we could really capitalize on. And we get one versus, but we have two for that, which isn't bad. We have quite a few of those. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, Iron Man. I'm going to take both of these. That's going to be so. I'm not moving any cards. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stick with that. So that's player two. Uh, player three, going clockwise. What do we want? We have one Iron Man. We have a couple of Thor. Who? Uh, how much Black Panther do we have out here? Um, do we have any good options for Black Panther? We've got a couple of Doctor Strange. That's a Black Panther. We get two Black Panther there. Um, none one there. This is not a lot of Black Panther. Doctor Strange. We've got. There's only one, two. So we could only get one Doctor Strange. Black Panther might be. We get two Black Panthers there. That might be our best option with no movement whatsoever. Uh, is Thor or Captain America? Now we got two Captain Americas here. Um, we've got a Captain America there. So two Captain Americas, the Versus and a No Appearance. Not too bad. Could could go for these Hulks. Get something new. <clears throat> That's not too bad. Uh, I kind of like. I kind of like the Hulk idea. I think player three is going to grab these three Hulks. And that's going to be player three. So player four, um, man, they've got not a lot. Now player four is going to have more options because you can take a card and move it like that. As long as you're not moving it diagonally, you can do it. You can do like this. Can move it anywhere in this grid uh, that will allow you to move it over. I think you move that there, that there, so forth and so on. So player four has a few more options, and say they, they have such a diversified field of characters. At this point, player um, four might be just thinking, "Can I get the most?" of a particular hero just to build collection. That's that's probably so we got two of those. Um, I don't know that we have Iron Man worth getting. We could throw down here and get a Black Widow. That's not bad. Uh, there's a Black Widow. Uh, it's a first and a versus. Um, this is a pretty pretty meaty thing. We could go here and get a couple of Doctor Stranges, but we don't have any Doctor Strange right now, so I'm not sure that that is going to be fruitful. Um, get Thor in that row. I don't see a way to move Thor around to make him more lucrative. Black Widow can get more lucrative. That's tough. This is a really, really tough choice. Um, not all great choices uh, for 
for now. Um, let's see. Uh, could go Captain America. That's actually versus in that. We got that and that. Um, nothing to really. We got a first. You know what? We're going to slide this here. And we're going to get these two. Because they're both on this track here that's being counted. So we're going to do that. Then we go to player one. Player one's got a pretty decent collection after the last couple of rounds. So theirs is going to be a lot of how can we enhance this collection. Uh, we've got some good Captain America. It's pretty solid Captain America stuff here. Um, we don't have, we do have one Doctor Strange. But these Doctor Stranges aren't super great for us. Um, well, there's a first. We could, I don't think I could do it any other way. So I think we could go over here and down and we'll collect these Captain Americas because they both have, uh, we got a first and a new appearance. That's going to be our best deal. All right, so now player two is going for the second time and they're going to, they're going to try to, get some stuff here so they could go after these Captain Americas. they don't have any Captain America though Thor's looking good Doctor Strange not much there uh, but they got tons of Iron Man we're gonna slide that over and we're gonna take these Iron Men because uh, player two is doing really good on that one so player three is really getting beefy on the Hulk um, that is pretty good, but there is not any Hulk out this time around. Um, <clears throat> so we go Captain America, which we have little on, but no more Iron Man out there. Uh, we have a Black Panther. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. We'll slide that over and we'll take all the Black Panther. That is perfect. So that will be player three. Player four. Um, kind of weaker collection, to be honest. Player four is kind of in a I need to get some stuff kind of deal here. Um, so to some degree, player four is like, what gets me the most? I'm going to move down and over. And player four is just going to take all these Thors because he can get the most Thors of anything. And then we're back to player one doing the last bit. Uh, player one did not think they were going to get Captain America and they are going to get... Oh, but wait, wait a second, wait a second. Do we have any Black Widow? So Black Widow versus Black Widow first edition but we can't get them all so we're just gonna stick with the Iron Man that's or sorry not Iron Man the uh, Captain America alright so that's that so we've done the convention um, when all players have had two opportunities to choose cards choose cards the convention will end the first player will then choose another player to receive the first player token well this first player is feeling sorry for this guy because he doesn't have many comics um, and any comic books discarded at the stage are added to the convention deck which is immediately reshuffled okay so these are gonna go to the convention deck and get reshuffled so they could come out later at the another another convention so now in the second round so we've we're gonna assemble our collection that was the end of round one and I think these will get faster as we go through the game. I'm just kind of, I really kind of want to, I want to see how these collections play out as time goes on. So uh, we're going to put cards in our hand down on the table, starting comic book collections for a certain hero 
or adding comic books to existing collections. You must pay the market value of each card placed down. It is also possible to rearrange comic books from one collection to another at this stage. Okay. Lastly, players check the highlights of the comic book cards that have just been placed down and update their respective tokens on the respective highlight tracks. All right. Um, so each collection has to have at least two or more with the same icon and you have to pay the market value for the cards with just two comic books do not count for varied collection scores or the collection size of a specific, specific hero. Um, so you can start maintaining. So I think you're going to pay with cards in your hand is how that works. Um, so let me double check that my payment plan is right. Uh, paying the market value. You must pay the market value of any comic book card you place face down at this stage, whether beginning or expanding a collection. The market value of a comic card is the same as the number shown on the back of the card. So it's basically the age, one, two, or three. Very easy. Um, to pay for the cards placed down at the stage, you discard cards from your hand and add uh, that add up to the market value to match or exceed it. And then I believe you place those, any comic books discarded at this stage are added to the convention deck. So yeah. So player one is going to look at their collection. Um, I mean, Captain America is obviously a really good option for this, for this player. Um, and these others are pretty weak. So let's see what player one can do. The problem is for this Captain America collection, we have that's a market value of two, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That would be a market value of 14. And we have two, four, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have to get rid of something in our Captain America collection. Um, with a market value this high, see, let's get rid of the ones that don't have icons that we're looking for. So we're not looking for verses. We're not looking for either of those. Now we're probably going to want more than that. So we've got a, that's a market value of three four five six seven so that's gonna be seven two four I'm gonna hold on to that five six mm, seven so we're gonna we're gonna discard these we'll shuffle that so that's that is seven and then I think I want to start a, let's see, that's three, and <clears throat> I could discard the, I could put those down and start an Iron Man collection of two, and that's going to, that's going to cost me three, so I'll discard that H3, and I'll just hold one in my hand. That's not going to be part of any collection, because I can't afford to pay it. So player one has... Uh, an Iron Man collection started and a Captain America collection started. Now, player one is also, I believe, they're going to move up. Uh, we pay the market value, we discard, we can rearrange, we can update. Uh, so if you have icons in your collection, one, two, three of those icons, I don't know why I'm moving that, player one, we're going to say player one is green and they're going to be on three for that one. Player two is yellow, player three is orange, and player four is black. So green, yellow, orange, and uh-oh, oh, black, okay. Um, and then we'll do green, yellow, orange, and black here. Green, yellow, orange, and black. Okay, there we go. Um, done. So we also have 
the versus isn't going to matter, uh, but we do have a first edition for green. So green's going to get a one on that. All right. I believe that is all of those. And our Captain America. Uh, so we've got a collection of three. That's not going to marry. We've got two varied collections, but that's end game scoring. We're not going to mess with that. We are going to go on to player two. What do they want to do? Man, we have tons of Iron Man comics. That is going to be our bread and butter. And so we're probably going to pay for it with all of these. Um, that one, not as good. These all have, so if we can, oh, that's three right there. That's nine. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh man, like both of these, but uh, we'll go. Uh, this cost one, so we'll do that and we'll pay that, and that's gonna be that's gonna be our collection. We're gonna have a snazzy Iron Man collection here, and player two is gonna go up one in this one, and they will go up three in the first comic. All right, player three is going to make a collection. All right, so I like this paying with the various things. So we've got Hulk is pretty good. <clears throat> now this is a tough one because I've got a pretty good uh, Black Panther collection. Um, got some number ones. Hulk collection would be pretty good. But I'm not going to be able to pay for all this. So stuff that I can immediately pay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 outright that we could pay. Um, that one doesn't give me anything in particular. These are a little more valuable. What would it take? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be exactly 10 to have these two collections with Hulk and uh, Black Panther. So we're going to do that and we're going to hold this one in our hand, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to pay those. So we're keeping one in our hand there. Player four is going to start their collection, which player four has been struggling and may continue to struggle. We'll see. We've got a couple of Captain Americas. We've got a couple of Spider-Mans. We've got three Thors. Um, couple of Wakandas. So these two don't have any of the things we're looking for and Black Panther is kind of weaker. These are two stronger ones and they both have things that match here. Thor is not as strong but does give us several things. Um, but we're not going to be able to afford all this. Right now we have two, three, four, five that we can pay. Um, I'd be competing against Captain America to take these two. Uh, no one's going after Spider-Man, so I might have a better chance of getting some Spider-Man comics, which is nice. And I do like my Thor collection. That's a pretty good one. Um, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would cost nine. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, that's rough. Eight. So I think what we'll do, we like our Thor collection. I think we're gonna we're gonna put that out there. Three, four, five. That's gonna cost us six. Um, so I, I want to keep the Spider Mans for later. I think I want to keep the. I kind of want to keep the Captain Americas. Um, let's see if these any of these Spider-Mans... See, they have what we're looking for. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. We don't need those. Shoot. Uh, four, five, six. I hate to get rid of them, but we're going we're gonna to do it, and we'll save the others in our hand, and we'll do that. Okay, and then that will give us 
Um, let's see. We're going to get a player four is black. Oh, did I even do player threes? I don't think I did player threes. So player three has one, two, three, four of these. Uh, first edition's none. Uh, number ones. One, two, two number ones. All right. So player three has got two number ones. Player four has one number one. And uh, player four has one first edition. And player four has two of those. Okay. Done. All right. I believe hand, hand. Yeah. Um, so we've rearranged our comics, updated highlights in the schedule, moved the tracker down, and we are going back to the store. All right. Very good. Round two. I think this would go much faster given the, uh, the simultaneous play. I'm, again, playing four hands, so this feels like it's taking forever, but I think with without playing four hands, it's going to be a lot easier. So if we go to the store. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. And now, uh, fourth player is first. And we remember we're setting our hands aside. I unfortunately don't have fantastic dividers for each of these characters so we're gonna have to just do our best to keep them separate and player one is gonna draft a card and pass um, so we like Thor but we kinda want we actually have a decent number in our hand and we might want to play off of those uh, versus none of these are super awesome but Spider-Man is worth slightly more. So we're going to draft Spider-Man and hand to player one. All right. Player one does have one in hand. Um, they are not going for any of these cards. So a lot of it's just going to come down to what can potentially, what can pay for something else. Essentially what this is going to be. Uh, this is a number one just on the off chance we get something we'll do that all right player two uh oh that's their four. Oh, this is player three's four okay so they're handing there and this is player two doesn't have any cards in hand they're going after Iron Man so we'll just go with that and player three has a Black Panther in hand that could be played later. Hulk is nice. Um, player three is also, I think player three is orange. Hmm. I should put these in the right order. Uh, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. Oh man, player three. What are we gonna do? Doesn't really have any good options here, so we'll just go with a Spider Man that's semi valuable. Um, and pass to the first player, who now, uh, because player three took that Spider Man, unfortunately. Player four is not getting that option, so we're going to go with this character that has a couple of options and pass to player one. Who is going to go ahead and add to their Doctor Strange collection in case that takes off? Um, no Iron Man's got a Thor in case we decide to do a Thor collection. And let's see, Spider-Man Wakanda would definitely go that route. Oh no, actually Hulk would be better to add. Um, and then player 
before. Uh, still nothing terribly awesome. We'll take that Captain America. Pass this one. The player one's going to end up with that. We'll pass to that. Uh, and we'll have done Thor on that one. Um, definitely Hulk. Anne's going to get that, and that's going to get that. Okay. So then we're going to go to the auction site. The auction site, we have not seen it yet. So let's see how the auction site works. Auction website. In this online auction, collectors will compete and bid for editions published in the 60s and 70s. That would be these guys. First player takes cards from the top of the deck and arranges the auction into a number of lots equal to the number of players. The first lot contains five. So uh, lot one is going to have five cards, and we will just turn them over. These are classic additions. So we're going to try to use all the table space here. The second lot is uh, two rows of four in a four-player game. It would be first lot's five, second row, uh, last lot is three, and then um, the middle rows are four. So we have that. There's our lot. All right. So then the first player, which is going to be this this player, is going to choose a lot to be auctions and places an initial bid on a lot. So this player is going for Thor is a good one, but they they kind of like Spider-Man as well, and they are going to want to try to enhance that Spider-Man collection if possible, but there's not a lot of Spider-Man comics. Two in this row, one in that row. Thor is strong here with a couple of firsts. This is not bad. Spider-Man's got a first and a versus, and we got a miss, a medley at the top. So, player, uh, player four is going to take, uh, they're going to, they're going to bid we're going to bid one on lot three. Let's see what happens here. So it comes back to player one. Player one has to decide, do they want to bid on lot three? There's a Black Widow. There's a Spider-Man, but nothing nothing seller. So player, player one's going to pass. Player two, they, they kind of like that Thor. Uh, player two is going to auction two. They're going to bid two. Um, player three, looking at an auction, a couple of Thors. Player three is going to pass. Back to player four. Player four has got to decide, do they want to go three for those Thors and a Spider-Man? Uh, the Thors are pretty nice. Um, player player one is gonna go ahead and or first player but is actually fourth player they're gonna they're gonna say yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna go three I'm gonna go three so now player one or two has to decide because player one is out do they want to go even higher for those Thor comics now those are gonna be expensive to get uh, I've got a couple of verses got that is it worth it? Is it worth it to go after those? Especially there's no Iron Man to add to these. Um, that's a pretty tough... But whatever, you don't get this back ever. So this is like, uh, once I, I lose it, I lose it. Maybe it'd be better to go after some higher value ones that I can use for other things. Because I'd just be using these for money to pay for my collection. So he is going to pass, and that is going to mean player four gets this auction to add to their collection. Done. Uh, did they have to pay anything for it? First player loses a lot uh, to be auctioned and places the initial bid. Okay. Um their hand 
secret stash. Move the color tokens to track based on the amount they spent. Yep. Okay. So now it is player token is going um, to the initial bidder who won immediately. To the bidder's left will choose a new lot to be auctioned. When only one remains, the player yet to win anything will gain those cards and pay secret stash points equal to the number of points on the cards in the lot. Oh man. So three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Dang. So you can end up paying a lot. Any cards not bought are then added to the convention debt, which is immediately reshuffled. Okay. All right. If the last player does not have enough stash points to buy, they can buy what they can. Now the first player chooses another player to receive the first player token. Okay. Wow. So if you don't want to be stuck with that top lot and be the last player or your stash, your secret stash is gone. And this is points at the end of the game if you haven't spent them all. So, all right. So we'll go back around. Player one is going to bid. And um, let's see. They've got Captain America and Iron Man, neither of which are strong here. Captain America, no Iron Man at all. Could do some. Uh, man, some Black Widow or some Doctor Strange. So, player two will bid, but it'd be a lot. Okay, so player two will bid two, or player one will bid two on the top lot. All right, player two has to decide, do they want the top lot? We've got a Black Widow, but that is not, nothing, nothing to it, there is one. So player two is gonna go ahead and say, yeah, I'll bid three. Uh, we're going to put that one up there because he's already bid. Player two will bid three. All right. Um, player three actually is back here. Hadn't bid anything. Do they want it? Uh, Wakanda. Yep, we got one of those. We've got no Hulk. Uh, two of those. So player three is going to bid uh, one, two, three, four. Player three is going to bid five. Try to get that. Um, player one isn't that sold on it says I pass player two there's there's some there's some good ones up there but is it worth five player two is gonna save theirs for the next round and so um, player three is gonna get this so player one and two will come back and player three take those for five okay player one <clears throat> will then select a bid and player one who they are gonna go with this one with Doctor Strange in it for one uh, player two doesn't really care that much but doesn't want to give player one that for one but if they had to get their choice there's nothing in that lot that would really help them and they don't want to get stuck with the la last lot and have to pay all their stuff so they're gonna bid uh, player two is gonna bid one two three um, player one is gonna bid one uh, they're going to increase their bid to one, two, three, four. They'll increase their bid to five. Um, player two. Man, we'll be stuck with all of those, unfortunately. So they're going to go all the way up to 
six. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And then player three, player one rather, is going to go ahead and jump to uh, seven. Um, and then he'll let player one have that for seven. So player two will just automatically get these three, six, nine, twelve. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So that might be the first time in the game that I feel like I don't know about that. Like if you're the last player. You could just wait to the last player to bid, but then you could lose all 15 of your points. And I don't think that's a good deal. Um, it might be that you should get to pick which cards you want to keep and pay for if you're the last player. That's that's just my that's my thinking out loud, uh, not having play tested this. Okay, so that's the auction. So we're going to go to the convention again and get... To pick more cards uh, first player is still there oh after the auction they choose another first player token so we're gonna give it to this guy all right so let's go up here and why am I flipping them over like that I'll just flip them like that and we want a five by five grid. Can we even fit it on here? Oh, just barely. Just barely. All right. Okay. All right. Well, this second this the second round, adding to the collections is going to be very interesting, because the some of the hand sizes are getting big and thicker from things saved. This is a pretty tight mechanic of what you're going to buy and keep. All right. So this guy's first player, um, who he's going to have to make a decision here. Oh, that's a pretty, that's not bad. Uh, wow. And that's good for both of those. Um, yeah, so he's just going to grab these two Iron Men. Uh, there's nothing else to do. Uh, so that's, that's number one. All right. Uh, we've got some Hulk and some Wakanda. Um, we've got a lot that we could add to it. Uh, let's see. There's a couple of Hulks. Uh, we could really do some Wakanda stuff there um, so we've got room for some collection stuff uh, or we could go in another direction and try to get some other hero that no one's really going after like Doctor Strange um, no one's really going after a Doctor Strange collection so we could do that too but let's see let's see if there's something that can be grabbed that is Pretty good. Doctor Strange only gonna give us two there. Uh, we got a couple of good Wakanda ones there. Um, uh, Black Panther, but we can't get that up to there. Mm, don't have Spider Man. Could get two Doctor Stranges, but only one of them is actually aligned with some of what we're going for here so it might be easiest possibly best to just do these uh, Wakanda ones there grab those um, player four we're still Thor but we've got Thor and we've got some decent spider-man here that's a decent collection of spider-man um, could we swing another Spider-Man into there? I don't think so. <clears throat> so we're just going to grab those Spider-Man for that. 
And then player one, we've got Iron Man and Captain America. We've got a solid uh, um, Doctor Strange collection. That's not bad. We could uh, Captain America is pretty good. We've got some good stuff there. Um, can we get more than one Captain America comic? Uh, or significant number of Doctor Strange comics? Looks like we could get two Doctor Strange comics, but I think... Oh, man. I think I like the... Is there any... Is there any more, um, well, there's one Iron Man, but he's not really what I'm looking for. Captain America is probably the best option. So let's flip him up there and snag both of those Captain Americas. And then he'll get his second try. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, we've got really good. We need. We're gonna need another collection here. The question is, what are we gonna get? I might just get the most. What can I get the most of? Um, not Hulk. Thor. But that Thor. That Thor is trapped. Oh, Black Widow. We could take Black Widow. Let's take these three Black Widows. We're just. We're just gonna add all of those in. We'll do that. That's a second. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, we could do a lot with Wakanda and Hulk. Mm, not a lot of other things. Um, let's just add Black Panther to our mix. That's his second, and we'll do his second. Oh, we definitely are heavy Spider-Man, but we also have some Thor and no Spider-Man out there. Um, what do we want to do? Uh, yeah, let's let's move this around to here and take all of these Thors. Let's do that. So that's their second and then last one for here I believe. Yeah, because this is this is the first player. Um, oh man, uh, this Captain America is good, Doctor Strange is good, um, but we can't get them all. We cannot get them all. Uh, so what's going to give us the most options? We'll only get one Captain America, but we get two Doctor Strange. Let's go get two Doctor Strange. Okay, we'll do that. Um, done. All right, so now these are going to go into the... Uh, that deck and we're going to assemble collections and so we'll start with uh, player one here I'm going to move these over slightly so I can get them onto the table um, let's see let's see what is going to be the most helpful adding that Captain America is a pretty good pretty good deal uh, we don't have an Iron Man to add but we have lots of Captain Americas. So, okay. So if we add this Captain America, that's going to cost us one card. And we're going to go ahead and pay that card. Um, we do have some Hulk. We have more Captain America. Mm. Mm. Do we want to try to go with this Doctor Strange collection? That has some promise, especially if we get these like this in there. So that would cost us three, four, five. That would cost us seven. 
to play that. Um, so we could do three, six, seven. I like it. I like it. That's six, seven. Um, we got that. And we could add another Doctor Strange, or we could add a Captain America. Um, I like, I think I like the Captain America collection being a little stronger and adding Hulk in there, and that's going to cost me three. So I'll pay these three and hold on to that Captain America. So that's going to add to these, and we'll just shuffle this deck each time we add cards to it. All right, player two. Oh, and we added, so player one's going to get one of those guys, and actually two more, and then two number ones. Um, one, two, done. Okay. Uh, player two, who is first player right now, man. What are they going to get? We got really strong Black Widow. We could even throw in another one of those. Ooh, got some good, some good solid uh, Iron Mans. Um, I think we're definitely going to do these two Iron Mans because player two is going to get to go one, two on this, and that's going to cost us uh four so we'll play a thor and a spider-man for that and that increases our collection size there pretty well um hmm do we want to add to the iron man collection or start the black widow collection that is a tough choice Lots of good Black Widows. We've got three, six, eight. Um, I like these two for sure. That's six. And that's eight. Okay. So that's eight of those and I think I'm gonna go ahead and whew, I'm gonna pay this one no nope, I'm gonna pay this one to place that one yeah I'm gonna do that so that's gonna give me second player is going to get uh, two first one two um, they're gonna get one of these and they're going to get a number one, uh, their first number one comic. Uh, all right. Whoops, not 20. Okay, so that is second player. All right. Third player. What are we going to do? Um, we've got some good Hulk. We've got some good... Um, Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, tons of Black Panther, tons of Hulk. That is our bread and butter. Um, what's going to give us the most other stuff from these things? This gives us nothing, so we should pay for that. Uh, let's see. Those give us very little. They just increase the collection. So for these two Hulks, we're definitely going to need um, two cards. So we'll do that. We will increase the Hulk collection. And that gives third player a number one and a first. So we get a first, and they got a number one. Got it. All right. Now with this Black Panther collection this is a tougher one I really like this one so that adds to Black Panther we need to pay three for that done that gives us uh, a first and what else do I like I like this number one 
that's going to cost 2. Um, I'll pay these two because I like getting the number 1. So we'll do that. And we'll pay those two Black Panthers for that. We might see them again. We never know. These are not quite as good, although I like my Hulk collecting collection being a little beefier. So I'm going to go ahead and pay for that. And now the question is, do I want, how much do I want to increase the size of my Black Panther collection? I like, I like these as potential money for stuff. I like that a lot because they can pay off some things. All right, player four, you are struggling. But you do have, I think, some Thor. And you have some good Spider-Man. And Thor's not worth a ton, but Spider-Man is worth a ton. Um, we could have a nice Spider-Man collection. I'm thinking these are the Thors that are worth something. Uh, that's only two, three, four, five, six to pay with. Uh, the Spider-Mans that are worth something are those. So what do we want to do? I think we want these these three Spider-Men for sure. So that's three, four, five, six. Um, so two, four, five, six. There's there's six. We'll pay for that Spider-Man. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pay for that one, which is gonna cost uh, one green. We'll do it. Um, I like the first, and that's gonna cost us three. Uh, so we'll do three and I'm gonna hold on to these because I like them so uh, black is gonna get a number one uh, two number ones actually and black is gonna get a one two first and are they getting any of those? They're getting one of those. Yeah, so that's theirs. All right, that is the collection. We're going to the flea market. All right, the flea market. So that is gonna be these. And if I remember, how does this work? Reveal cards from the deck. Yeah, flea market is the one where we're gonna start with two, three, four for the player, and then player one is going to decide, do I want to take a card or do I want to add a card? Um, whew, let's see. Um, that is a tough choice. We don't have any Iron Man out there, and we only have one card that looks promising for our collection. <clears throat> is anyone else going after Captain America? Nobody is. So we're going to add another one out there. It's a Hulk. They're going after Hulk and Wakanda. I'm going to put that there and hope that they go after that. All right, player two. Um, and I might have should have passed the first player token. I did not pay attention. I wish that was on here, whether or not you're passing a first player token. I can't tell just from the iconography, but that's okay. All right. Um, let's see. Player two, we are doing these. There's not really much out there that we like, so let's see what we draw. Mm, a Black Widow. Um, this is tough. Is anybody doing Black Widow? I am doing Black Widow, but what are others maybe not going to go after? 
Uh, there's Spider-Man versus up there. I see one person collecting Spider-Man, but that's probably the easiest one. Okay, player three. We have Hulk and Wakanda. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna double that and bow out. Um, player four, Spider-Man. I see Spider-Man. Uh, there's no Thor. I like Thor. Let's do a card. It's Wakanda. That guy's out, so um, I don't. I'm really hard after Thor. No one else is doing Wakanda, so we're gonna put uh, that down there. Player one, Iron Man and Captain America. We still don't have a lot out there, so whoops, I'm not supposed to look at them. Player one's gonna draw a card. It is a Thor. Maybe we can knock the Thor guy out of the deck by putting a Thor out here and get him out of the lineup, possibly. Player two. <clears throat> Still no Iron Man. Um, shoot. Uh, player two is going to draw a card. There's an Iron Man. No one's really going after that, so... Uh, actually, who's Spider-Man? He's going after Spider-Man, but might not want that one as much. Uh, player two is going to push their luck and shoot for that. Pass. Player three, Thor. Do I go for those two Thors, <clears throat> or do I go after the Spider-Man at the top? Neither is awesome. Player one is probably looking for that Captain America to get big. So let's see if we can get lucky. We have another Iron Man. I don't want to give that one Iron Man. I'm going to go put that there. Okay, so now it's player one's turn. And player one, man, they have a tough choice because they have an Iron Man and a Captain America. That is probably worth taking. So player one's going to take it. Player two, player two is going to call that and take that, which means player three is going to, or player four rather, is going to place a card out and and then take it. Done. Okay, so that's our auction or flea market, flea market rather. And then we're doing the auction site. So we're going to take these. And we have a variable array of stuff here. So we're going to three, there's five. We're going to make four rows, three on the bottom, and then four here. And player, let's see, should first player have passed? after the flea market. Um, first player chooses another player, so he would have at least passed it to somebody else, probably to that guy who seems to have the weakest collection. Sort of. Uh, hard to say for sure. Alright, so for the auction, um, what would he do? Uh, what would we want to do for the auction? We've got some interesting considerations here. We've got some Thor. We've got some Spider-Man. Spider-Man's probably what we want the most of. Versus not much. We've got Thor there, but not there. Is there something else we could collect that could be handy? Hmm. Could shoot for man. That is a tough deal. Um, could just go for paying for stuff. So, player one, who is green, is going to bid uh, two. It's hard to keep up with this. He's going to bid two on the first row. All right, player one here. Do I want the first row? We have. Uh, two things that I would like. There are one, two, three there. I am going to bid 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bid three on the first row. So two, three. Um, player two uh, can't bid. Okay. Player three is going to pass. So back to here. Player one bidding two. Player one's going to bid four. Uh, player or player four, four, five. Um, mm, six. Is it worth it? Uh, let's see. We got that. And I got other options. Seven. Mm. So, uh, eight. Okay. Um, I can't go nine. He can't go nine. So player four is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and take all of these. All right. So then auction is going to go to player one, who is going to offer a bid of um, four on that first one. Uh, which puts player two out. So player three has to decide if they want that one. Pass. Um, one, two, three, four. And player two, or player one rather, gets those. Okay? Done. So they're out. They're out. Uh, player two is going to bid uh, one on this bottom row. Um, player three doesn't want to bid everything. They have ten, but if they don't have enough they can see what they get. Uh, player three, sorry, let me check my thing. Alright, uh, player three is going to pass. So player two one is going to get the bottom row and player three has to play 12 for these and can't so they will pay nine and they'll take yes 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 no take that oh and anything that doesn't go goes there okay so then that's the auction and then we have another convention Oh, the convention. How does the convention work? I forgot how the convention works. Um, yeah, this is the convention. Did one in the first round. So there's a convention every round. I think it's the only one that you do every single round. Interesting. All right. And then we're going to do final scoring. Set collection and final scoring. Okay. We have... A really tight uh, I'm gonna put these all the way at the top because we're getting very tight here and top 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 and top boom 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 as you can see they have the actual comic book pictures from the actual comic books. I, I did not collect a lot of these, so I have a comic book collection, but it's not, uh, this was just not, the Marvel is not what I collected. Um, but they're, it's very legit looking. It's very cool. All right, so we have our convention, and now I think the player probably would have passed to somebody, most likely would have given it to this person, see what they do. Okay. Um, so what are we collecting? Uh, we've got Hulk and Wakanda. We could accentuate some of what we have. I'm thinking I'm going to go after those. Um, 
these are not as good, but I could. Uh, let's see. Um, how much Hulk do we have in there? Uh, zero. One. We have one Hulk. That is not going to help us much. Um, we're not really... I don't know if we want to start another collection. Might just want to go after like what's going to give us the most cards um, of, a, of a color that we can use to spend. That is an option as well. It's like what can give me the most spending power in a given thing. So uh, we have two Doctor Strange there, but there's two green ones there. Um, that would give us two green Black Widows, no Spider-Man. That would give us three green Black Widows. I kind of think that Doctor Strange is going to be the best option. I don't get more Doctor Strange there. I get a blue and a red one there. So we'll add those to our hand, and that's round one. Um, let's see. Thor... Spider-Man. Spider-Man would be super awesome to add if it was worthwhile. So there's a Spider-Man. Not a lot out there that's beneficial. Um, we have some Thors we can add. Do we have another collection we could go after? So we could do Wakanda. We could do Hulk. Um... I keep calling uh, Black Panther Wakanda. <laughs> just, just, just forgive me if if you're a huge Marvel fan and highly offended at that. I'm so sorry. I am a Marvel fan too. I just uh, that's just my what what I keep saying in my head. Um, man, there's there's not a lot of really good options here, so we may go for what gives us. The most money and options and just take Black Widow here because we get a red with the Black Widow which can help us pay for stuff so we'll do that and then um, Captain America Iron Man got an Iron Man here can we swing another Iron Man nope uh, not really one there but that is a solid Iron Man to try and get and add to our collection um, I wouldn't knock it. Uh, we have a couple Iron Mans here. Captain America, Doctor Strange. Can we bolster the Doctor Strange collection? I like, I like this Doctor Strange here. I don't think there's another one to add, but these are green, so they're not expensive, and they give us stuff that we like. So that's that. All right. So Black Widow and Iron Man. Um, well, we can really beef up our Black Widow collection if we do this and take all of those. That is worth that. And then we come back to player one. Hulk or Black Panther. Mm. Or do we just... What, what can pay for stuff? Do we want to just go pay for stuff. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm going to go bloop. And I'm going to take Captain America uh, because Captain America will help me pay for things to beef up the other two. Um, Thor, Spider-Man, can we... Let's, let's, let's beef up Spider-Man a little bit. We'll do that. Uh, that's his second one. And then... It's either Captain America, Iron Man, or uh, the other fella. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to pull that one Iron Man in hopes that it's helpful. That's off the table. So Black Widow, or we can try to, ooh, we'll try to pay for stuff with Thor. That's probably a good deal. And that puts these out there. And so now we're going to finish our collections and see how we did. All right. So player one. Let's see. We've got that and we've got that. 
And what do we want to add? We kind of want to add these Iron Mans. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the most valuable Iron Man collection, but that's two, four, and if we get a fifth, that puts us into the 12, which is highly valuable. Um, we have five there, and we have four there, so if we can get a fifth, uh, this gives us a bump up that track. Uh, those Iron Mans all give us a bump up that track. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'd need seven to really bolster Captain America, and I think, and they'd be very expensive. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so uh, this one would cost us one. That's going to cost uh, four. Um, a three okay so we do that and that gives us a three left that we might as well bolster this one with um, there and pay for that so that's all our payment done and that's going to give us a uh, first uh, first one and that's going to give us one of those uh, we're going to get another one of these for Captain America, and we'll get one, two, three, pretty much guarantee we're going to get the uh, new appearance section. Okay, so player two is got some good Iron Man collection here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we can probably get to that 24 points because seven and eight will get us there and we 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 have to do that that is just a that is just too fantastic not to do um, so we got to pay for these with people that we're not going to be using so we're not going to be using Hulk and we're not going to be using spider-man so we're going to pay for those two with that and add our two Iron Man which is going to give a uh, player two uh, a number one and it's gonna give us one of these and it's gonna give us one first so we might get second in that and then player uh, let's see how much can we do with Black Widow we've got four cards what could we get up to we could get up to eight which would be 16 points be pretty good uh, do we have enough to do it? Um, that would be uh, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, we can we can pay that and have one in our hand. Not bad. And then that will give player two a number one or a first first comic and one new person. So that's our comic collection player one all right player three one two three four five six Hulk so we have seven eight eight potential Hulk which that's like double points it's fantastic one two three four five six Black Panther seven eight nine ten uh, we could get up to ten and we could do up to four of those um, Wow <sighs> but it doesn't get us over the hump uh, we're all already at six we just need to get to eight um, so this one and one of these cheap ones is probably all we need to do that um, these we don't need for sure and these are probably not worth trying to hold on to uh, let's see let's see if uh, okay we gotta pay for these so we're gonna need a red and a blue to pay for these two Hulk comics so we're gonna add those to our Hulk collection which gives a uh, third player a uh, number one 
it gives uh, a first and nothing for the verses. Um, we really want these two. Um, so that's a red and a blue. We'll just pay for. Oh, I don't want a red and a red. Uh, there's a red and a blue. Um, pay for those there. And I am not going to be able to pay for all these. That's going to give me one first uh, for that one. And now I have this lovely collection. I could. What's going to bolster me? Maybe up a path or something. I can get a couple more firsts. Sort of beef up my ability to stay in first with that. Two Captain Americas. That would cost me three. So that's three for two Captain Americas. Could I play for another? Pay for another Captain America? I could. I'll just pay for the Captain America that includes that one. And that gives me uh, a three Captain America set. Okay. So that is this guy. He's got a pretty good collection. Uh, he's not going to beat that Iron Man collection, but he's pretty pretty beefy there. All right, so Thor. Um, let's see what we got here. This is going to be interesting. What do we have? We have there's there's three Thors. There's a four Thor. There's a five Thor. Uh, we could get up to ten Thors, uh, but that's not so. Oh, there's an 11. We just don't have, we don't have a 12th Thor. We cannot quite get to that 12th comic, but man, that is close. That is so close. Uh, so 8 is really all you need to get to, and so we have 5, so we want to get to 8. Um, so we definitely want that one. And we are 5th player. What can we potentially get ahead in. Um, we're not going to beat people in the firsts, but we could possibly shoot ahead in that. So five, six, seven. We're way behind in that. We probably have our best chance there. Eight. Okay. So if I do these three, uh, I need a red. I need uh, hmm. a red and I need a blue that I don't need so there we go red red blue and that gives us a first one first keep turning these over and two number ones there we go um, we are not going to use Thor. Spider-Man might be our best. We could at least go tied for first in that if we play these two Spider-Mans, which is going to cost us a red and a uh, green. So if we do that, that's going to bump us ahead to at least second for that. And then we have these comics. What are we going to do with these? Are they of any value? Um, I mean, I can add some Thors. I could get up there so I'm not in last. I mean, that's. That just puts me in a tie. Um, I don't think any of these end up being terribly valuable. Uh, I might as well add two more Thors and that's four so I'll discard these okay all right so okay uh, we'll do so we're gonna do player one player oh they're already numbered we're not so collection size let's see how points work at the end um, but do, do, do collection size for every collection in your gaming area with three comic book cards or more for a certain hero write down the points according to the number of cards in the collection okay um, all right so you have to have three one two three four five so Iron Man has five 
uh, which means he's worth 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, plus 10 is 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 22, 30. So for collection size, player 1 has 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for him. So 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, Black Widow, 24, 34, 40 for player 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 20 and 16, 36 plus 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40. 41. Wow, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, so for Thor, it's going to be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spider Man, 16 is 26. So player 4 coming in last. Collection variety, all right. Uh, the more collections you have for different heroes in your gaming area you receive see the varied collections table in comic hunter so varied collect so this is the number of varied collections so if he's got three wow wow okay so you can get a lot of points for different collections interesting okay so five points for player one uh, there's zero points for player two, five points for player three, and zero points for player two. So you could really stack up more points based on variable collections as opposed to the hero tracker, which is the more, more comics of a single collection. Interesting. Very interesting. 40 points if you have eight. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see highlights um, we're looking at these so oh secret stash we do that first so player one has four points and player that last player has four points and then the two players there have two and I might have missed some I, I, I feel like one of them spent most of their money maybe they got them to two they couldn't afford the thirds they just bought the three and had nine so that works all right so secret stash is there and then we'll do highlights um the first highlight uh the third player is getting 15. player four gets 12 eight and first player gets three second highlight Player 2 is 15, player 4 is 12, player 3 is 8 and 3. Third highlight, player 2 is 15, wow, did well there. Player 3 is 12, uh, oh, I'm sorry, player 1 should have gotten 15. 12, uh, and then 8, and then 3. Wow. Almost nerfed player 1. So player 1 ended up with 30, 45, 54, uh, 50, uh, 60. Uh, 40, 50, 60, 7, 75. 5, 6, 77, 41, 51, 56, uh, 61, 62, 63, 73, plus 6 is 79, 26, 36, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 54, 56, 57. Player 4 did terribly. So, player 3 here with Hulk and Wakanda three collections did the best at 79 I thought player one going after Iron Man was gonna do pretty good three different sets but they probably should have gone after more sets 
uh, and they and the player that I mean there's really the highlights track was significant being able to go after all of those um, so I wonder if getting more varied collections with better highlights would be a better strategy but that is comic hunters uh, hopefully that gave you a pretty good idea of how the game goes and I probably messed something up with the rules but it's a lot of drafting in different ways to build a set collection and try to score points off to different varieties of set collection um, I didn't see if there was a tiebreaker or anything at the end I didn't have a tie so wasn't really too worried about it but um, player with the most points has assembled the best comic collection and won the game in the event of a tie the player with the highest highlights some wins if there's still a tie the player with the highest secret stash wins if there's still a tie the players share the win so that is comic hunters and yes after even a four-handed play that was long that was that was pretty long um, but I think in a to in a four player game where all four players are playing the vast majority of that simultaneously I think that will work this is I'm gonna say a little bit of a I don't wanna say surprise because I would have thought I would have liked this but I didn't hear about it until very recently um, I like it uh, if you've played Age of Comics the Golden Years I definitely like this one a lot more uh, there's a lot more hunting for things, paying attention to what are other players doing in their collection. How much do I want to compete with what other players are doing and maybe go in a different direction? Which of the categories do I want to try to uh, find my strength in? Because going after, it seems like going after larger collections in a given hero is a lot harder um, to score points in than trying to go after these and maybe doing multiple collections but it's uh it's 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 a tough it's a tough call i'd have to play several games uh with other players to see how that really factors and plays out over time and i wonder if there's a strategy for going after you know what are players not going after let me just get the most cards and then see you know what can I put together just card gathering not even worrying about like you know what is my collection gonna be I'll just have the most cards to play with and then pay for stuff and then I'll just default to whatever whatever folks aren't playing or allow me to get uh, that would be an interesting strategy just to see how that goes if you enjoy the video give it a like uh, feel free to subscribe I do have a patreon but uh, I am not like I don't I'm not super active on it to be honest uh, however I mean if you want to support the channel I will definitely take it um, but this uh, this one is one I would recommend I think this could be a pretty fun surprise it's very low-key as far as the tokens and everything goes I think for the cost uh, I see this getting played more than I think a lot of other games that are higher dollar and have um, you know more components and stuff I do wish I would love something better uh, than these tokens here because they're hard to move around on the board it would be nice to have something that is a little more stackable and I might seek something in the future that's a bit more handy as far as this goes to to do stuff I don't know about getting all the way to the 20 I think you'd have to really really push pretty hard to do that um, these aren't so bad they don't move around so I'm not really I don't think these are functionally need any real upgrades uh, nor do these tokens that tell you which highlights you're going after so I those th these right here though they need something to make it easier to move like pawns or some you know probably like like things that can stack because your the pawns are getting in the way of each other but something that stacks on top of each other would be very handy uh, something with a superhero theme would be pretty cool uh, have to look into what might be 
an option, maybe some some little tokens that have some kind of a superhero. Uh, they're colored, but they have a superhero face on it. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Thank you for watching, and until next time, from Unraveled Game Thoughts, have a great weekend.